Kinks Come Dancing at Galeo, the beat of Gay UK, where we play 80s Sunday nights, 8 till 10. Before that, Banana Armour's I Want You Back. And it's really we talk about actual 80s events taking place around the Galeo area here in Manchester, but tonight we're going to do just that. Because on the end of this line, hopefully, it's totally Tina. Hi there, John. How are you doing, honey? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Is this totally Tina? It certainly is, honey. Um, in the UK at the moment, it's absolutely freezing. I'm not impressed in the slightest. Now, forgive me. I'm sure <laughs> when you're singing, you sound just like Tina Turner. Yeah. But when I'm talking to you on the phone, I'm not convinced <laughs> you're the most amazing facsimile of Tina Turner I've ever heard in my life. Okay, then. Okay. All right, then. Okay. You've now... Where, is this Tina Turner, is Tina Turner from Birkenhead or somewhere? Because it sounds no, like it. Oh, thank you very much, yes. <laughs> She's in from Liverpool, yes. My name's Justine. Hi there to everyone. Hello, Justine. Now, you're here to tell us about Totally Tina, your act, which is going to be in Shorten quite soon, I believe. Yes, at the Huff End Centre for Showbiz. I cannot wait. Um, our show is always very, very lively. The audiences are always involved immensely. Lots of fantastic sexy dancers beautiful costumes and we do the replica costumes and we also do the the, the, the copy of the hair routines as well so there's lots of shaking your tail feather which i hope everybody will join in with but we have five fantastic musicians as well it's a recreation of her live concert basically well my mum's a big tina Turner fan the last time she played the arena in manchester i was there um, she's very energetic for her age, isn't she? She's, what, 74 or something now, 75? Yeah, I think she stopped touring when she was 70, but oh my goodness me, she does that for two hours. I mean, I'm on stage for possibly 2.45, and I'm 42, and I, my knees are in agony after every after every show. I don't know how she does it. Um, she's absolutely fantastic, but, uh, well, if you're going to impersonate an icon, then you've got to get it right, haven't you? So... How do you go about running a show for such an iconic performer? Because it's it must be quite daunting because she is known for the energy and the life that she puts into the gig. So people yeah. are going to be watching you thinking of her, aren't they? Yeah, it certainly was. I started off this impersonation. It wasn't to the degree it is now when I first started off. And I kept on watching video footage back of myself and I thought, this isn't right. What on earth is going wrong? I thought I'd done the legs all the dance moves because I thought she does dance really energetically but it's obviously her own style um, and sometimes it can be overdone it looks comical and that is not what she is in the slightest but there's also a really really important part of the impersonation take the voice the, the, the costumes and the actual legs and things away take all that away and there's a really important part, a important part and it's the face she has this specific facial impression that happens and that's the thing that i think most people say at the theater it was the mannerisms you've got them so straight if you can sing a slow song a subtle song a quiet emotional song and still take over the impersonation to your audience then you've got it and it took me about about three years to get that in total so what did you do just watch lots and lots of concert dvds just kind of trying to get it bang on to be honest, it was the opposite, actually. It was really crazy. I've never used to watch any of her stuff. I sort of did things from memory and what I thought people felt that she was like. And then it, when I was looking and thinking something's wrong, I actually went to... Do you remember the film What's Love Got To Do With It? Yeah. With Angela Burnett. I thought, she well, was amazing, you know, wasn't she? Exactly. Well, I thought, if you're going to impersonate somebody, what about another person impersonating that person? And after I watched that film... And it was the face once again. It's that face when she's singing. And it's the way she smiles and the lip comes up. Um, and I thought, that's it. I looked in the mirror a couple of times and I thought, I get this. I get exactly what it is. So it was really watching Angela Burnett that did it. But everybody says it's exactly Tina. So hopefully, hopefully it's right. Hopefully Tina won't see it one day and say, hey, I don't look like that. <laughs> It's Justine, otherwise known as Totally Tina, uh, performing at Huff End Hall in Shulton, 24th of October, that's Friday week. Uh, give us a clue about some of the songs you'll sing. Oh, we've got some stunners. Proud Mary is definitely one to watch out for. It's just like her live version. Nutbush has got lots of audience participation, but we do have a soul medley from all of her tracks that she sang with Ike back in the 60s, and it lasts 11 and a half minutes, so let's see if uh, the audience has got the energy to keep up with us.
Great talking to you, Justine. That's totally Tina, Huff and Hall, Chilton, 24th of October, Friday week, until the Gadio sent you. From the 1980s, this is The Loop. It's where we play 80s music. This is gorgeous, and I don't play it on the radio enough. Tina Turner, the real thing this time, and better be good to me at Gadio.